In reality, it's not very easy to get a gravity system. Sometimes we may have a direct pump system. What do I mean by direct pump system? Uh, the supply source, okay, the water supply or the river uh, that for, for our water source is actually uh, below the level of the service area or even at the same level of the service area. So it may need pump to be pumped to the treatment plant and it also needs another pump to be pumped to the service area. Okay, so the pump will have to pump continuously and it's an expensive system and the pump may break down sometimes. So you need to repair the pump. So cost of maintenance is also high. And we do have the electricity cost, so it's an expensive method. Another thing that I'd like to mention, I think, is on the usage of the pump is very. What do I mean by that? Okay, imagining at 12 o'clock at night. Okay, not very, not very many people are using water. Okay, uh, perhaps people are sleeping. So let's say the water is pumping at the rate of 100 liter per second to this area. In the morning, okay, at 7 o'clock in the morning, people have already woken up and they start to take shower. The, the, the students, uh, the, their kids are going to school, so everyone takes shower, having breakfast, and so many things happening. Okay, at that time, during at seven o'clock in the morning. So let's say the, the need of water is very high at the service area. Okay, so instead of hundred liter per second, so it's probably five hundred liter per second at seven o'clock in the morning. That means the pump has got to pump really, really quickly to be able to satisfy the demand of the water at this area at 7 o'clock in the morning. And now at 10 o'clock in the morning, so everybody has already gone to school, people have already gone to work, to the office, so not very many people are living in this area. Okay, perhaps the helper are staying in the house, so they don't really use much water. So now uh, the water needed in this area is probably very little. Let's say it's about 20, 200 liter per second. So now the pump is uh, pumping at a different rate, okay, at 200. 200 liter per second. So you're imagining um, within that 12 hours, so many pumping rate. Okay, we start with 100 liter per second, and then suddenly it changed to 500 liter per second, and suddenly it changed again to 200 liter per second. So this pump keep changing their rate of pumping. It's not something that we would like to see. If the pump keep changing their rate of pumping, that means the possibility for it to break down okay, because it keep changing pumping. So it's very huge, okay? So maintaining works is needed for the pump. So that is the problem with the direct pump system. So I hope that whatever things that I've said is already explained in your notes okay, or in this slide.